Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over some Bitcoin latest news and some mining rig updates. So stay tuned. Hey guys, real quick before we go on, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon below. Um, got something going on right now called Bitcoin Fridays. Video was up yesterday. Um, I'll have a link in the first comment below. Go to that video, enter your BTC wallet address, and that's all you got to do to be entered to win. So do that real quick before we go on. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification icon, and then uh, enter in that video in the first comment below. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. Um, Mysterious Chinese Bitcoin whale hoarded 94,000 worth of BTC. A staff member from a Chinese Bitcoin forum raised eyebrows upon the discovery of a wallet address that had received over 90,000 Bitcoins since the end of March. That's nuts. At least one individual in China took the term HODL to heart as a his or her Bitcoin wallet address seen a total uh what has seen a total of 93,947 bitcoin transferred to it since march 25th 2018. Uh, we don't need to know the wallet address uh, the wallet currently possesses 85,947 of the total amount of bitcoin that it originally had after selling exactly eight btc off a member of the staff from a chinese bitcoin forum shows that an organization called Babby Finance was looking into the wallet's transactions. Babby Financial statistics found that the account tends to buy Bitcoin when it falls. This account has now become the sixth largest wallet in the Bitcoin network. That's crazy. The top five wallets are all owned by exchanges. So you have a single owner, somebody like you or me, who owns the sixth largest Bitcoin wallet address rest or exchanges. According to the statistics gathered, this particular wallet got most of its Bitcoin through wholesale transfers from single accounts. Its second largest source of BTC came from Huawei, a Chinese cryptocurrency exchange. Following that amount, we see that small transfers from smaller wallets totaling 7,800 BTC. The smallest source of Bitcoin for this wallet was HoaBTC.com, another Chinese exchange. We don't know who the controller is behind the mysterious account. This is one of the charms of the Bitcoin network. However, with the reference to the traditional financial market, the controller of this account may be a long-term investment institution, the user added. It was also speculation that this could be an exchange setting up a cold wallet, but the theory falls to fly theory fails to fly when we look at the fact that the BTC came from two different exchanges. We find it interesting that the mysterious actor chooses to sell its Bitcoin in bulk increments of 2,000, much like how Mt. Gox trustees did during the 16,000 BTC sell-off that led to a dip in the price of the coin. So let's look at that real quick, guys. Let's pull up the calculator and let's do a little math. So the guy, whoever it is, has, let's just say they have, they have 85,000 BTC right now, okay? So what is that? 85,000 times, what is Bitcoin? is about 7,600 roughly right now. $646 million right now, okay? That's, a, I mean, that's insane. All right. So what if they decided to sell, let's say, $2,000 in Bitcoin? That's what the increments they were selling, right? So 2,000 times 7,600, current price of Bitcoin. That's $15,200,000. So let's say they sold 2,000 BTC and the price dropped $500 because going back the past couple weeks from supposedly Mt. Gox is selling off 2,000, uh, the price dropped anywhere from 500 to 1,000. So let's be conservative and say the price um, dropped to 7,100. Let's say. So 
they got 15 million 200 so let's take one five two zero 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 fifteen million two hundred now we'll divide that by let's say they decide to buy back in at seventy one hundred dollars of Bitcoin okay so at seventy one hundred divided into fifteen point two million gives them two two thousand one hundred and forty Bitcoin for a net gain of a hundred and forty Bitcoin all right so stay with me Every time that Bitcoin is dropped, within a week or two, it goes back up to roughly where it was. So that $140 Bitcoin that they just got from uh, buying back into the market at $7,100, say the market goes back up to $7,600 now. So we got $140 times $7,600. Assuming the price goes back up to $7,600, they just made a million dollars in about a week. I'm sure this goes on all the time with these big whales in the market. I mean, that's a million dollars, guys, in probably seven days or less, and they can do that all year long, okay? Which times that times four would say they do it uh, every week. Four million a month, do it all year long, times 12, 51 million dollars they can make a year doing that. Just buying and selling Bitcoin, buying, waiting for the price to drop get back in price goes back up that's insane guys so they can make a ton of money doing that I'm sure a lot of them do but that's one of the things that's affecting the price of Bitcoin these big whales doing stuff like that anyways I just thought that was some interesting Bitcoin news um, so now let's jump into my spreadsheet and see what uh, I'm doing so far this week all right, so we pull it up. Uh, so right now we're sitting at $48.83 mined so far. Or, yeah, mined so far, the price of uh, the coins we mined. Mining Ethereum, of course, converting it to Bitcoin, and mining three or four Equihash coins and converting it to Bitcoin as well. So just under $7 a day averaging right now. I don't think I'm going to hit my all-time high a week which is fifty two dollars and two cents was the highest I made um, on average the week after that went down to fifty one fifty one week last week was forty nine I'll pass forty nine I'll finalize the numbers tonight so I'm guessing I should probably be right around fifty dollars um, if I'm lucky maybe fifty one I'll finalize the numbers at about ten o'clock tonight um, the M.2 adapter piece should be coming in today for that. It's probably already there along with the risers. So hopefully I can get this 560 up and running and then I'll be done with that rig and then I'll have to continue looking for cards for this rig to fill up the final three slots. Uh, sitting at a total value mine so far of $439. Um, Markets are stagnant as they have been for a while. Let's see if we can go look at them real quick. Um, 346 billion market cap. I mean, it's it's up over the past couple weeks. Usually, it's been around anywhere from 300 to about 320 billion. So it's up a little bit. Bitcoin 76.91. Everything is up just a tad. Nothing big. Simple mining, everything is running fine there still, even with the uh, 100 overclocks I put in the other day. Show you those 100 core, 100 memory, and 200 power undervolt, power limit undervolt. I got running on that NVIDIA rig, AMD rig, just humming along like it normally does. So this has been up two days, seven hours now since uh, the power went out the other day with no problems. Same here with the AMD rig. Um, mining pool hub. One thing I wanted to check out real quick was Ethereum. See what my 24 hour average is. So let me copy that real quick. 0 0.0085. That should be over $5 a day. $5.18 a day right now. So if I get that, if I get that, um, other 560 working right here on this rig that should put me close to six dollars a day on that rig which uh, could be better but 
could be worse as well. So I guess that's it for today, guys. Um, be sure to uh, like the video if you liked it. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. Um, if you haven't entered your BTC wallet address, again, that video to enter will be the first comment below this video. Go to that video, enter your BTC wallet address there, and you'll be entered to win. And tomorrow we will pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. Okay, guys? So that, you guys take care, happy mining, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.